What grade would you give this NBA season? I'd give it a D. And that's being nice. I could give it an F, but I won't go that far. A D far. for dynamic. I'd give, I'd, I'd, I'd give it a D. I'd give it a D. I'm serious about this. First of all, when Kevin Durant left and I said he ruined the regular season, I absolutely positively meant it. We knew that the San Antonio Spurs was going to win their share games. Obviously, those who love basketball find a reason to love basketball. And, con and considering the Herculean effort that we've seen Russell Westbrook put forth this season along with James Harden, that's been interesting. But we all know it's been about Golden State and everybody else right now. Kevin Durant going down and getting injured made it a bit interesting because that gave us an opportunity to see what the Golden State Warriors were made of without Kevin Durant because they also were going to be without Harrison Barnes and Andrew Bogut, which means that you're basically without the three dudes, not just Kevin Durant. And Steph Curry put on a show over, you know, over the last month or so, the last few games, rather he averaged about 31 on 52% shooting, reminding us all that he is the reigning two-time league MVP. So it was nice to see that. But overall, you know, the suspense, the thrill, particularly the thrill that we would have had watching the Oklahoma City Thunder go up against Golden State, watching and wondering about what would happen if they met again in the playoffs, knowing that San Antonio was in the mix as well. That would have made the regular season far more compelling. Kevin Durant robbed us of that reality because by transitioning to Golden State, you saw what Golden State did every time they went up against Russell Westbrook and the Oklahoma City Thunder. They flat out of annihilated them in all four meetings this season. Then you combine that with the rest issue and how that's tainted the game with people questioning the level of commitment that some of these players may have had. We even had a situation last night where the Brooklyn Nets who was so awful this year, they should give people back their money who patronized their product, had the audacity, the unmitigated gall with their scrub cells to actually rest players, knowing you got the whole damn offseason to rest, but you still going to rest them that, 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 with the regular season finale. This kind of nonsense that has sifted through the league like a virus has helped contaminate the league and made this regular season highly questionable mm. compared to seasons past. The playoffs are something to look forward to. I'm not poo-pooing that. We're going to look forward to Westbrook and Harden and Kawhi and LeBron and, of course, Durant with the Splash Brothers. We get all of that. The playoffs have arrived. But as it pertains to the regular season, there have been far too many negative storylines that have tainted this season for me to give it anything better than a D. It gets a D and not a, not a grade higher. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.